A lot of really interesting things have happened in Greenville, South Carolina in the past few weeks. There's four developments that I wanna make sure that I share with you that have recently happened to make sure that you know what's going on here in Greenville. Hi, I'm Evan Whaley, your favorite Greenville realtor. Let's talk about the first one. The first development I wanna talk about just recently got approved. So by the Bon Secours Arena, as you're coming into downtown Greenville, there's been a lot that's been vacant since 1997. It was the old Memorial Auditorium when they tore it down, that's just been there, it's been vacant ever since. Well, the city's come up with an amazing plan to develop that. What their plans are for that building, which this has already been approved, they're gonna put almost 300 apartment units there. There's gonna be commercial space, some creative space. It's gonna have some additional parking, which we really need as downtown continues to grow. And it's gonna have a pedestrian bridge so that people can safely cross over the bridge and get to Bon Secours and not have to worry about going through multiple lights crossing over the street. I think this is gonna be a really awesome development that's gonna happen here in Greenville and I'm excited to see what they do with it. The second one that I wanna talk about is actually two new restaurants that are coming to the area. Oku focuses on seafood and Japanese food. They have some really incredible sushi down in Charleston and it might quickly become one of the Greenville hotspots for that reason. And Daco is more of a modern Italian restaurant. They had some really amazing dishes in Charleston and I'm really excited to see what they bring here to Greenville. They have a really fun and inviting environment on the inside as well. So it's a great place for friends to hang out, to bring family and to have a great meal. The third development that I wanted to talk about is coming on the West End. And the last two developments that I'm gonna talk about actually are both on the West End. This one's already been approved as well. They're putting in the Sphinx Market. So Sphinx, for those that are not local, is a big convenience store chain that's here in the area that's local to us here in the Greenville area. And they're bringing a fresh market concept to the downtown, which will be really interesting because there's not anywhere to grab a lot of those conveniences on the go. And I think with the location of that, it's actually going in the former Cook Station building downtown. I think that's gonna drive a lot of foot traffic. They've got an outdoor area as well to really appreciate the outdoors on nice days. I think that could be a really great development and something that the downtown really has needed for a few years. And lastly, a project that was greenlit in the past but had a slowdown is True Line. True Line is going to be a new concert venue that's going to be in downtown Greenville. The founder of True Line is Michael Grozer. Michael has an extensive experience in the music industry. He was one of the founders of House of Blues and has done a lot of other things in the music industry. So when he does stuff, he does it at a really high level. So so I'm really excited to see what he brings here to Greenville and this aspect with True Line. True Line is going to be a $10 million project. It's going to be about 34,000 square feet. It's going to be on the west end side. It's going to be in the former DB Glass building, if you're familiar with that, on Red Street. It's going to have a capacity of 1,700 people. There's going to be a VIP area. There's going to be an outdoor patio, a rooftop terrace, and state-of-the-art sound system and lighting. I'm super excited to see what kind of acts they can bring to True Line, and I think it's really going to continue to enhance what's already a really strong art scene, music scene here in Greenville. So let us know in the comments down below, which development are you most excited about? Which one do you want me to keep tabs on? If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe so that you can see more content like this in the future.